Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play More Wind Waker! Oh, I'm so excited! I am Shadow Directions and in the last episode, uh, we just did some more shit in Tower of the Gods. And now we're ready to take on the boss. You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge. So I don't know why I remember this boss's name, but I do. It's Godon or something like that. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but G-O-H-D-A-N, something like that. But really easy, basically Andros or Bongo Bongo. Um, well, it looks, looks wise anyway, but kind of similar to Andros because I do believe you need to hit his well, I know you need to hit his hands, but you also may need to hit his eyes. Um, but it's also a really easy boss fight. First, you need to take out the hands. Um, then, you need to get those eyes. And it's all really with arrows. And once you do that, he'll just... Oh, well, as soon as he stops firing those stupid beams at me. Then he'll just kind of fall down open his mouth. And... We do have 99 bombs, so there's no shortage there. Just drop a bomb in his mouth. And we're already one third of the way done. So it's a really easy boss fight. I believe it's two arrows per hand, yeah. And honestly, I think if you run out of arrows, he'll just drop more, so. There is really no reason to be worried about this boss fight. It's a very easy boss fight. Not really much of a challenge at all. And in fact, we're already two thirds of the way done. So, it kind of reminds me of, um, it's like a combination of those other two statue type enemies that we've been encountering in the Tower of Gods. Like the ones where you have to shoot in the eye, and slash the back, so then there's the one where you have to drop the bomb in their mouth. Oh. See? Oh, I did run. I didn't even realize I was running out of arrows. I honestly wasn't even paying attention to how many arrows I had. Because you don't need to. And I'm sure it'll give you more bombs if you run out, too. Oh. Yeah, you've got, like, one more arrow, and then you're done. So that's going on. Yeah, I can't really think of any other way to pronounce that. Yeah, he's dead. The path can now be open. Oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path you have chosen. Go forward with caution. Before you do that, you should probably grab the heart container, though. So, there we go. We'd have one more by now if we had, if I had not been retarded. It's okay. Because we get to ring a bell. So, you're probably thinking that this was all to, uh, get to the Master Sword or something silly like that. Or, I don't know. Maybe that was some kind of weird reversion Temple of Time. Nah. Just really wanted to bring this bell. I mean, it's a nice bell. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm not trying to disrespect the bell. It's a nice fucking bell. Oh, forgot that Link just teleports down there. You have done well, Kevin. It would seem that the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Don't drown. You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. So now everything's in black and white. And we are now underwater in uh, Hyrule Castle. And everything's frozen in time. So, a pretty depressing scene we got here. Guessing the castle was overrun. But it's okay. Because, uh, they did leave behind a blow. Oh, what does he want to say now? All right, Kevin, I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You will find a clue in the shape of the, er uh, the herald near where we arrived at the castle. So it's a triangle puzzle. See that Triforce in the middle? Now we need to get all these blocks onto it. Nuts. No. Not. This is not stealth. Alright. Yeah, this is a little tricky. This puzzle is a little tricky. Um, but we will triumph. Soon. Oh, it's because I've been pressing the wrong button because I'm stupid. Oh, it's because it was two. All right, I was starting. I was thinking well, it's not the shape of a triangle. I'm not sure how it's gonna work when we try that, but I'm relieved to find out that it's actually two blocks. So yeah, this is pretty tricky, I guess. Yep, I'm gonna solve it by crawling. Mainly because it can be a little frustrating to try and get the blocks where you want them to go. And to get Link to actually grab them and not crawl around or do any other absurd things. But we've already got two down. We just need one more. And I'm sure there are many ways to do this puzzle, so it's really not all that bad. And it's actually quite a bit easier than... Uh, 
the uh, one in Twilight Princess, which can be a little frustrating after a while. But I think we got it. Yep. And now we can get underneath that statue and get into the basement. What will we find? Well, see for yourself. Though I don't understand how this got down here. Never really uh, understood that, but whatever. Excellent, Kevin. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Now, take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. After you go through two more dungeons to power it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got the Master Sword, the legendary blade with the power to repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. So here it is, the Master Sword. Finally got it, and our sword strength is now uh, doubled, I believe. Which is all fantastic and wonderful. And we do get a chance to try it out pretty much right away. Because guess what we get to do... We get to fight quite literally every one of these enemies, which is both good and bad. Good because um, not only do we get to try out our new Master Sword, but also we get to get a bunch of spoils that we kind of need. The um, Moblins, or actually I lied a couple episodes ago by saying that you needed to, uh, needed to use a pair. You could theoretically get behind them. But anyway, we got the Knight's Crest from the Dark Nuts, or whatever nuts that they are. Um, and we got the Skull Necklace that we also need, so both pretty important quest items that we're both getting here. So in the end, it's really not all that bad. And you could also pick up these guys. They're, uh, giant swords if you'd like can be pretty entertaining to just throw it at someone from a distance except it didn't hit him at all but in the end I'd imagine that your master sword which is the blade of evil's bane would be a little more powerful oh wow you get raped by your friend oh wow yeah getting hit oh did you just kill your friend that's nice you're a good friend Frozen in time for how long? And you all wake up just to die. Yeah, it's a little harder to get behind them 
when it's like a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. But if they haven't seen you yet, or if they're busy with something else. Oh, wow, this guy really wants to slash me. Like, really bad. This guy also really doesn't know what's going on. I'd really like to steal your Nets Crest, but I need to... There we go. Now I can kill you. Oh, wow, I've never seen that happen before. He picked up uh, someone else's weapon. That's pretty cool. I did not know enemies could do that in this game. So I am legitimately pretty surprised. Well, not like, wow, really surprised that this is a life-changing moment. But, you know... That's kind of interesting. Wow, you're really bad at hitting me. I'm literally fighting you with a rope. Okay, oh, oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, I'll just kill him and hope he drops one. He should. I mean, they really are supposed to drop them. I don't know why the other guy didn't drop it, or maybe I missed it or something. Probably more likely. But whatever. But whatever. I say that probably so much, I don't even realize it. I mean, I just have, but you know. Whatever. I don't know, I'm, a, I'm just a whatever kind of guy, you know? Got problems. Eh. Whatever. Fuck it. So, hopefully there aren't too many more of these guys. Good thing about this thing is, uh, they don't all attack you at once. They really have no idea what's going on. Just kind of walk around. I don't know why. If I was stuck here, I'd probably get the hell out. But maybe they didn't know that they were stuck here or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe they were just in the middle of attacking the castle, and then, as a last dis ditch effort, they uh, froze them in time with the master sword, and, uh, and maybe that's what happens. And they're, they still think that they're attacking the castle or some shit. I don't really know. But what is pretty cool is that. Uh, Hyrule Historia is being translated and it's coming out the beginning of next year, I believe. That's really cool. Because that should be interesting. I think it's like a hardcover book with like all this uh, information about Zelda. And I think it was written by Miyamoto. Well, I don't know if he like sat down one day and just decided to write it. You know, but like... This information is coming from the creator of the series. And it's all, like, legitimate, true information, so that's pretty cool. And I think it's only, like, 30 bucks, so... Might pick that up at some point. Just because it seems like it'd be something interesting to have. I think that's actually where the, uh... Like, the actual timeline comes from. Like, when they release, like, oh yeah, the... Zelda timeline has been uh, officially confirmed by Miyamoto. I think that's where it came from. Hyrule Historia. It's already out in Japan. Pretty sure. But of course, something like that is probably fairly difficult to translate, so I can understand why it might take a little while. But it's really cool that we uh, get to have that. I have killed so many of these guys. I think we're almost done. I thought one was hiding over here. Let's check on our spoils, though. Uh, yeah, we already got enough skull necklaces. I did grind for golden feathers off screen, and we almost have enough knight's crests. And I mean, we'll fight enough to, to um, get 10. I'm sure we'll definitely find three more at some point on our journey. Quite soon. I'll just, oh no. I have 
to go down there. I must. Okay. Oh, okay. It was just... I actually didn't have to. I could have waited. And everything would have been fine. Because I don't think those orbs go away. But, yeah, I think that guy is it. And then we're done. Maybe I could even kill him from here. But literally, you can't leave until you've dealt with uh, everyone here. So, pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I'll just go up to him and kill him. By the time I shoot him with arrows, might as well have just killed him with my sword. And is that it? That is it. Okay, good. So I was, oh, no, let's grab that just because we can. And that's all. We can go out this way just to have a look-see at the rest of Hyrule. But that's really it. So this is Hyrule. We'll be visiting here in a bit. Um, well, not in a bit. At the end of the game, really. Um, you can't get much farther than this because there's a big old barrier in the way. So, unfortunate, but whatever. Yep, I said it again. Should be a counter for this shit. But, anywho, that's really it for this episode. We got the Master Sword, and now, uh, according to the King of Red Lions, we should be able to go up to uh, Ganon and basically slay him. But we'll have to see how that works out. So, I am Shadow Productions. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.